Here you hear you, this is Lord Potato and this is What If Naruto has Sun and Moon Dojutsu Part 3. I was about to say Part 2 for no reason. So yeah, um... So, last time that what happened in this What If was Naruto uh, was in the hospital because of what happened in uh, Part 1. From him just woken in his blood moon powers. Or should I say just moon powers. Or dojutsu. And then he awoken his son dojutsu the next day. Which made him kill a Anbu. And then after that. For four years. Well I mean. He went to go to the academy with Menma. But he trained for four years. To learn how to use his moon dojutsu and his son dojutsu. He also read in the library about the Trinchurikis. And also, what dojutsu they are. He only found Sharingan and uh, Byakugan, which basically was useless to him because he did not know what the hell what his own dojutsu was. But he just basically just said, "Ah, oh, it's probably the sun and moon. Similar, t they kind of look similar to the sun and moon. So that's why he just said sun and moon. And sun and moon release, he just thought of that also. So of course he found some, he made some jutsus, he thought he made them, but he just had the instinct to do them. And instinct to do taijutsus. Which, Naruto, he went to the academy at 12 years old. He was already in it, but he trained for 4 years with Menma. And to do, do the test, to do the test. He was right now fighting against Sasuke, and then he blasted him away, which using the sun bomb that's similar to a Rasen gun, but it's not a Rasen gun, so don't annoy me with that. It's not the Rasen gun, it's called the sun bomb, which knocked away Sasuke, and also he also killed Mizuki using the moon bomb, which freezing Mizuki, but he did not really kill Sasuke using the sun bomb, which just knocked him very far away. Into a wall. Menma was going against Sasuke. And Menma actually win. But there was a person seeing this all happen down. His. He was from the Sendo clan. Which when Naruto. I mean not Naruto. When the clan member. Kind of saw Naruto and Menma just doing that and all that. The Sundo clan also did see Naruto's whole moon bomb and killing that one teacher. Which, of course, no one noticed about him doing the moon bomb, so no one actually know about that, except for the sun bomb. So, before I get anywhere near about to start with Naruto and all that, and Menma, let me begin with the whole clan situation. The clan member that went back to his clan... To report about a kid who can use the sun and moon abilities. And another kid who looks just similar to the Fort Hokage and probably Kushina. And also the kid could be Kushina's son also. And those two. He went to go report it to the Sun no Muno clan. So when he gets there. And he tells the Kage. Well it's sort of the Kage. Uh, Kushina's father. Kind of became a Kage King Prince or something. Well, I mean King mostly. Which he wanted his daughter to actually become the princess of the clan, but he can't. So he became a king. For a while. A bunch of people like him and all that. Because he is very kind. Because he's a father. And very smart and strategist and all that. In any war type of thing. Now, the member, his name is Sun La. Sun Sunlot. Sunlot. Now, Sunlot went into and talked to Kushina's father. Now, Kushina's father, I'm gonna call Kazun. Kazun. Kazun was a very smart and all that. So, Sunlot was telling him about how he met two kids. And they could be twin brothers, but he can't tell. It's just the only thing that shows is a little bit similar to Gashino and all that. And also the Sun and Muno clan. So when Kazu kind of heard about this, he said, Wait, could it be? My daughter had kids? 
That's why I never got a report back from when he she was in the leaf village. Could she be dead? She's dead. I'm destroying that leaf village. But then this the um the guy the guy the sunlot Lotzo, he kind of just told him. But wait, what about the two kids? Since one is similar to using both the sun and moon abilities. And then Kazu was like, wait, what do you mean moon abilities? This uh, Zanlad was like, well, I saw him use a moon ability was similar to the sun ability. So, of course, he used sun bomb using a chakra club that was unstable for him to do. And a moon bomb that freed someone and went into a moon cloak. Could it be that he has your abilities but much stronger? And much quicker in learning on it. Kazoo was like. If he is. My grandson. Then I must retrieve him. From that damn leaf village. And Sunlight was also like. I also forgot to mention. That the villagers. And ninjas kind of look at. Both those kids. With like. The spice looks like they don't like them. At all. And this is where Kazu was like, if that's how they treat my grandsons from that damn village, I will take my grandsons away from them. They don't deserve a life like that. Until Kazu kind of went into the whole meeting with the Mundo and Sundo and even the Uzumakis. The Uzumakis, they wanted to have their own little clan from the Sundo Mundo. So... Basically, Kazu allowed them to have it. So it's basically three parts: the Sundo uh, compound, the Mundo compound, and the Uzumaki compound. So yeah, basically, um, now Kazu kind of came up and said, "I'm gonna need people to come with me to the, well, to the Leaf Village." My, um, this ninja from, this clan member from the Sundo clan has mentioned about this. And he talks about the whole thing. And the Mundo, Sundo, and Uzumaki are like, okay, we will go. So about the Sundo clan and the Mundo clan and the Uzumaki are pretty big clans in a very big place they have in it. There's about 500 Uzumaki, 500, no, a thousand uh, Sundos. And a thousand um, mundos. No wait, five thousand mundos, five thousand uh, sundo clans, and about a thousand uzumakis. So yeah, four years they managed to repopulate it really fast. So yeah, they're not big as a village, but they're very powerful with their own juices and releases, and those juices. So of course. Um, that happening, they were like, okay, we will send a hundred from Uzumaki's, a hundred, a hundred and fifty Sundo and a hundred and fifty Mundo. So basically, Kazu is going to the Leaf Village to take back his grandsons because he wants to know if Kushina had kids and if they are his kids, grandkids. Then he's taking them back. Back to Naruto and Menma. Now, Naruto and Menma, they were kind of like in their house. And then some Ambus told them to come to the um, the Kaya Tower. Which they had it to go. They go. And Harusen then explains, since Naruto, since you attacked the Uchiha, we're going to have to... Corn, well, kind of lock you up in your house for a couple of days, and you cannot get to your team and do team missions in those couple of days. And Memo's like, "What do you mean? Nah, why the hell would he have to do that?" And then Harrison was like, "Well, you know, I have to do it because Naruto attacked him with some ability." Also, Naruto, can I mention what that was? Naruto stay silent and didn't want to say anything. And then Memo said, whatever. I'm going to stay with him if I have to. So Harusen said, fine, that's okay, Memo. So basically, Naruto and Memo 
are in their like apartments isolated. A bunch of ombus, they won't let them go outside. Now, they kind of bring food to Memna and Naruto since they know that, yeah. <clears throat> the villagers are outraged with Naruto and Memna and all that since they attacked their prize Uchiha. With that happening, Sasuke and Sasuke will still be on the team without their two teammates, Naruto and Memna. <coughs> so, of course, um, that was happening. And, um, Kakashi had to do missions very early without his two teammates having to, well, his two little members having not to be there. So, of course, Kakashi was sad and all that, but he had to go on missions. He could not do that whole test with both. Uh, Sasuke, Sasuke, Menno, and Naruto, since Naruto and Menno are basically in quarantine. <laughs> they basically put them in, like, isolation. And so, when that was happening, a miniature army was going to the village. And, of course, the ninjas at the front was like, yes, can we help you? And they got killed so instantly. And they died. Two of the Sun members kind of killed them off super easily. Now, the Sun members have, like, katanas that are similar to their leader of, who can use a Sundo katana. And the uh, Mundo Katana at the same time. Kazu can use swords uh, similar to the Sun of Mundo together. But he isn't using the strongest weapons from the Uzusuki. So of course, the leaders also went along. Even the Uzumakis went along. Now, I said 100 Uzumakis and 150 between Sun of Mundo clan came. I'm going to say it's more than that. 2,000 with 2,000 and um, about 500 Uzumakis came. Now, the Uzumakis, they specialize in Fuinjutsu and I guess... Was it Fuinjutsu? So, Ceiling Jutsu and Sword Jutsu. Uh, not Sword Jutsu. Um, I can't remember the fucking name. Well, basically, uh, swords and all that. Same with the Sundo clan, they just specialize in their Sundo release and Dojutsu. So same with the Mundo clan. Now when they got there, the Kazu was like, so where do you think the uh, Kage Tower is? Sunlaz. Sunlaz was like over there. And then basically Kazu was like, okay, let's go. And a bunch of ninjas like threw uh, Chunin and Genin, they tried to attack basically this destruction army that came and they started destroying a bunch of like village uh, buildings, not village, buildings and all that. And the Hokage got noticed with this and was confused. He never seen this clan, but he saw kind of how much people there were. He also saw redheads, but confused him. And some Jonians were in the fight. And they fought against Uzumakis and they got chained up and got their chakra seal away. Which made them vulnerable and they got instantly killed. So the Sundo Muno clan are looking for Naruto and um, Sun Lao was like, Kazu, should I go look for them? And Kazu was like, yes, please go protect them if you can find them. And so Sun Lao was like, yes sir disappears and like a flamish um flamish body flicker like he body flickers and the flames like disappears with him and then naruto and memo were just like confused they're like man what is happening some root almost they tried to attack the sunla and the uh what that why did i say sunla no sundo and mundo clan which got instantly destroyed with the ambus and root ambus Haru, uh, Harushin got there, and Donso got there, and Donso was like, what is happening? And one of the uh, Uzumakis noticed Donso with his like, weird eye and all that, which one of the Uzumakis told, um, was decided to grab his like chain and all that, and threw it at Donso, which Donso told one of his members of uh, Root to come, but before I even do that, before the Roots got there, 
Sendo and Mundo clan already sliced through the uh, Ambus, the root Ambus, which Donzo was like, what the? And the Uzumaki grabbed him with the chain, and all Uzumakis managed to seal Donzo's eyes and chakra away, <laughs> which made him useless, and Kazu looked at him, and he didn't like him at all, so of course Kazu grabbed, I think it was Donzo's, wait, so basically, Kazoo just grabbed basically the right eye of Donzo, ripping it out, and there was a sharing on. Now Donzo was screaming there, ah! And one of the Sundo clans managed to slash Donzo's arm, and like said, here you go, Kazoo. Which Haruzen was shocked. He was like, what the? Those redheads are Uzumakis, and those other t two clans, I can't tell who they are. Which Kazoo then tell Haruzen. Are you the Kage of this damn village? And Haruzen got kind of confused. The question was then said, Yes, I am. I am Haruzen. Uh, sorry, I kind of got lost. Sorry. Haruzen, uh... What was his last name? Fuck. Uh... So, Haruzen said, My name is Haruzen Saratobi. And you are... And then Kazu was like, my name is Kazu, the Kage of my own sort of village clan. And then Haruzen was like, okay, can I know why you're destroying my village and killing all my men and my ninjas and my civilians? Kazu said, well, this damn village hurting my grandkids. And I won't stand by it until I burn this village to the ground. Now, Kazu's voice was so anger and rage that Teruzen was like, what the hell is with this guy? The Sundo clan was right now killing civilians with the Mundo clan. Some of the Sundo clan, Sundo clan and the Mundo clan was like right next to Kazu and all that. Ready to fight against these uh, Ambus, Jonins and all that. And, of course, Donzo was like, damn it, can't do anything. Wait, I can do, what's that? Wait, no, that needs chakra. So, yeah, Donzo was pretty much useless because the Uzumak is a sealed his ass so fast. Now, basically, because it was like, so, who, what have you done to my daughter? And Haruzen was like, daughter? Wait, you think grandkids? daughter who the hell are you talking about and then cuz it was like he put he put his hand he bought he bought his hand up to a fist and then smash it into a building crushing the whole building down just smashing it down and cuz it was like my daughter was named Kushino Zumaki what how the hell do you do let me let me replace <laughs> let me say that again I fucked that up my granddaughter was Kush? Oh my, not granddaughter. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Sorry about that. I fucked up my wording. My daughter was named Kushino Zomaki. Now, what the fuck did you do to her? Haruzen was like, Huh? Your daughter was Kushino Uzumaki? And your grandkids could be Naruto and Menno? Huh? Oh, fuck. Wait, I never mentioned. <laughs> Haruzen's mind was like, hold up. If you say that was your daughter, you're the father. And this, and those redheads are Uzumakis. And those other clans are something else. Ah! So you're the father of Kujina Uzumaki, which meaning the grandfather of both Menma and Naruto. Hold up. <laughs> And the Ambus and Jonins and um, basically Chunins. Also, Kakashi managed to get there with his scanning squad and was like, he heard Kushina Uzumaki, daughter. And was like, hold up. This man is the yeah, father of my master's wife. My, oh. Now, Kazu was like, answering me now. <coughs> <clears throat> so of course Haruzo was like, "Oh, you, uh, uh, 
Haruka was like, how can I explain this? Um, Kushina Uzumaki kind of died 12 years ago. And then Kazu didn't like hearing that. He was like, what? And he, he basically, Haruka felt the rage that basically Kazu was just letting out the bloodlust, the rage. He was like, the hell do you mean? And then uh, Haruzo said, well, um, how should I say, uh, ooh, uh, um, also the Sundo clan and Mundo clan kind of heard the scream of basically Azu and felt the rage and bloodless. So basically, Sunlock was on a uh, time period before Kazu decided to destroy the village. So, uh, of course, Sunlock, Sunlock, uh, Sundo. I mean, not Sundo, Sunlot, La? Sunlot? 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 Did I say that same? Basically, had to look for Naruto member. Found them, and then sliced through multiple of the Ambus, and just got in there, and said, Are you two by any chance related to Koshina Uzumaki? Which basically, Naruto and uh, Menma were confused. But Menma uh, got up to protect Naruto just in case these people are, uh, this guy is mean or anything. And then Sun Lots kind of noticed their confusion and like, who is her, what? And Sun Lots was like, can I know your names at least? I'm not here to hurt you or anything, I'm just here to rescue you. And then, um... So of course he was like, "Can I know your names?" And Menma said, "Oh, that's easy. My name is Menma Uzumaki. My brother's name is Naruto Uzumaki." And then Son Law was like, "I see. So you must be the kids. Is there anyone else named Uzumaki in this village?" And they, well, Menma said, "No, not at all." And Naruto said. Why is your hairstyle similar to mine, my half hairstyle? And then Sun La was like, <clears throat> Well, how can I explain this? If you two are the son, well, the son of Kushina Uzumaki, then your grandfather is our leader, and um, basically, you're from, you two are from the Uzumaki clan, and from our clan. Now, so basically, Menmo says, Uzumaki, that's a clan? I never heard of them. Now, Sonla was like, I don't have much time to explain, but I can only explain a little bit. I'm just here to rescue you because you guys are Uzumakis, and we don't want you to be breeded for you being Uzumakis in this village um, when you're older. So, of course, we're just here to save you. And then Menmo said, wait. What do you mean? And Arthur says, Sweet. Um, when the Uh, basically he said, Um, right now, I need to take you to, uh, your, my leader, my leader. And Arthur says, Sweet, let's go. And Memo was like, But brother, what do you, what about the village? Naruto said, Screw this village. Have you not seen how many times I had it to, uh, we had it to run when we were little kids? How they chased us and tried to beat us down because they were screaming demon and all that? And so I was like, hold up. The fuck you mean? Hold up. The fuck do you mean? Did you just say villagers trying to kill you when you are little? Basically, son, I was ready to burn this village down to the ground. With Kazu. <laughs> With Ka Kazu. Now, Haruzen was like, well, before you go in a rampage back to Haruzen and Kazu, uh, Haruzen said, before you do that, um, um, Kushina died because of the Ninetales attack, which your, where her two kids kind of being alive and okay, and they're fine, they're fine, they're, they are fine, and then so like, right now, like, uh, body flicker right next to uh, what's it called Kazu and then has both Naruto and Menma. And Naruto looked at Kazu and said, So are you the leader of him? And then Kazu looks at Naruto 
and Menma. He can see similar uh, features from Menma from Koshina. And from Naruto, he can just see straight up the Sundo and Mundo clan kind of mixture up into Naruto pretty much. And say, these two kids are my grandkids. Now, before anything happened, Sundo kind of uh, whispered into uh, Kazu's ear and then Kazu's ear. I mean, Kazu. Kazutu was just shocked and angry. He just boiled up. He was like, what? And then Haruzin was like, hold up. What the fuck did he whisper? You dare to tell me that my daughter's kids were chased down and tried to be killed? Now, the Uzumakis heard that and said, wait, Kushina's, do uh, Kushina's sons were about to die because of what? And then Sundo kind of told all the Sundo, Mundo, and Uzumakis about how both Naruto and Menma, Uzumaki, they, they have the last name, were chased down by the village. And the, Kage, the whole Kage really didn't do much about that whole thing. And... Pretty much chased down by villagers to be killed and beaten. Now, the Uzumaki's Sundo and Mundo clan heard that and they said, What? <laughs> and Haruzi was like, Way oh fuck. And Kazu was like, You dare show me that my daughter's kids were beaten and tried to kill? Who the hell are you? You are no damn Kage for this village. And, uh,. Kakashi tried to rush in and tried to grab Menma and uh, Naruto, but Naruto legit grabbed Menma's arm and pushed, pulled him out of the way, and then Naruto was the only one that was grabbed, and then, yeah, and Kakashi was like, what the, Naruto, why did you push your brother out of the way, and Naruto says, so we can both leave and have a life, nice life together, and kicks up. Uh, Kakashi, but Kakashi managed to grab his leg and said, Naruto, do you not know who these people are? Naruto says, I don't care. They have the similar hairstyle with mine and my eyes. They could be clan members of mine. I don't care who the hell they are. I just want to know who the hell I am. They said something about someone named Kushin Uzumaki. And then, basically, Kakashi had enough of this and knocked uh, Naruto out. Now, Sunderland was like, shit, I gotta go help him. And then, Kazu kind of looked bloodless and angry. That you dare touch my grandson. You are dead meat. And Kakashi, he was like, yeah, right. Post up like Sharon and says, I am Kakashi of the Copy Ninja. I can copy over millions of jutsus. And Sunderland was like, can I deal with him? He's right now pissing me off. Yes, go ahead. Right now, I will burn this village to the ground and freeze it if I have to. And then, um, Harusin was like, I don't think you're doing that. While the Uzumakus are destroying a bunch of buildings using their chains and all that, Menma, he saw his brother push him out of the way so he wouldn't get captured. And he was enraged. He was like, you dare knock out my brother and capture him? I'm not. No. He was there always to protect me. And then his eyes flicked her into the red slit and went into the nine tails. Well, not nine tails. Nine tails was like, hey kid, you should probably go with these people who are trying to help you. Not the one from the leaf village. They are nothing but just power hungry fools. I can help you save your brother. Memo was like, really? Wait, you're the nine tails. What? Oh, and you're here to actually help me. Okay. Basically, Mama said, okay. He was just like, let's do this, Nine Tails. And the Nine Tails said, okay, I can only give you about two cloak uh, tail. And then Menma said, okay. And so Menma went into the two tail cloak and he rushed at uh, Kakashi, scratching him. And then Sunla was like, I see why they're actually hatred to both Menma and Naruto. He has the Nine Tails. And Kazu was like, Good if he has some nine tails. That would just make our clan stronger. And Kakashi just had like a giant scratch. He's like, damn it, the nine tails are released. I gotta 
Gotta knock Naruto out of the way. So he pushed Naruto out of the way, like threw him into a ragdoll. Which anger uh, Menma much more. He's like, you dare throw my brother like he was a ragdoll or something. Shikoya! And tried to attack Kakashi again. And Kakashi was like, uh, Sunlaw was busy with the Ambus and all that. That was stopping the, him from even going near Kakashi. And Kakashi's like, damn, I'm gonna have to use a Sharingan. And tried to knock him out. Which, basically, Nar uh, Menma wasn't letting up and trying to be looking at Kakashi's eyes. Because Karama was telling him, don't look into Kakashi's eyes and all that. That would just put you in a Kanshu, to which knocking you out out of your power cloak. Now, you only have about 15 minutes in trying to knock him away and try to get Nard out of the way. Now, Naruto kind of waking up his eyes. And he sees his brother right now fighting as a Gakashi. And Gakashi is pretty much beating him up evilly. He's like, damn it. Remember, look into my eyes. And Naruto is just kind of falling asleep. And this is where something else happens very special. The sun and moon was kind of going closer. And some of the uh, Mundo and Sundo clan was noticing. And Kazu was like, what the hell? And then... Basically, the sun and moon kind of cover up, making the eclipse happen. And Naruto, he wakes up. And, um, Naruto woke in the third eye, which, because of the sun and the moon kind of closing together, making the eclipse. Which, since Naruto awoken, Naruto's, for, uh, like, um, forehead kind of woke in an eye and that eye is the eclipse eye both his sundo, uh, sundo and uh, mundo dojutsu awoken also so naruto has the eclipse eye and he looks at uh kakashi um yeah so back to the thing oh thing and i noticed this song huh uh, sorry, I got distracted. Sorry, um, the song I'm hearing right now, if you can hear it in the background, is called um, Ready Player One Song. I forgot I heard that song a while ago. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, I got distracted. So, Naruto awoke in his clip's eyes, and um, basically, Kazu and Sunlaw was like, what the hell is that? And Kakashi was like, what the... And Memo's like, brother, Naruto is right now pissed. You dare touch my brother. Both a sun cloak and a moon cloak with an eclipse cloak kind of cover him. A mixture. And he rushes at Kakashi. Kicks him right in the stomach. Kakashi going, what the? Damn it, Naruto. Tries to put him in the Genjutsu, which Naruto breaks out of it instantly. Since the sun, moon, and eclipse eye easily can break out of go, um, what? Go, why did I say go juices? I don't know. I mean gen juices. And he just like said, "You think weakling gen juices from a damn Sharingan can stop me? You're out of your damn mind, and and then slices the air, which causing a flame attack to uh, attack uh, Kakashi." Now, when that was happening, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, <laughs> for some reason I'm getting distracted. I'm thinking of watching Ready Player One, like, after this, so I don't know, I'm just gonna distract it, sorry. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, when that was happening, um, Naruto was like, you dare try to use my power for my power and my brother's power for your own damn village. Screw this village. And he summons a fireball on like on his left side and like a similar moon ball chakra that was similar to the moon but it was gray and the side was like a sun so it looked like this. 
and the other side looked like this. So his right side had the moon bomb, moon bomb ball, kind of bigger, but the same with the sun. But behind him was like the eclipse. A, it's called the eclipse bomb, similar with the sun and moon. And now I just uh, you dare think to be using me and my brother's powers for your own damn village purpose? Then die, then. He shoots the sun bomb and the moon bomb to different uh, parts of the village, destroying it, destroying other villagers, and then just another. The sun and moon don't notice those attacks, which dodge and all that. And then the clips, he threw it at the Kage Tower and blowing the Kage heads and the Kage Tower to nothing but just bits. Into nothing but just rubble and like ash and all that. And also, Naruto said, No one dares to attack me ever again. I am my own self. And then, basically, Naruto's, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Grandfather kind of looked at Naruto and, uh, was like, So, he has it. He has the ancestors eyes and then the leader and the Mundo stopped and said he does have it Which when Naruto did that he used up enough power that the eclipse and the The eclipse was over after that. It wasn't a long period of eclipse but before him doing that he looked at Kakashi's eyes and with his eclipse eye he made Kakashi's Sharingan go blind, fully blind, like it went to this point of like Izanaki destroy and Kakashi was like, what the, no! And then Naruto says, you will never be able to copy another Jutsu, you damn leaf ninja. And then smacks him away. And then he picked up the brother and went to the Sun of the Plan. And then he passed out. Basically closing all three of his eyes. Menma was, of course, she got out of the night house o'clock and said, Naruto, are you okay? And then he felt kind of tired also because he used some of the night house power. And he passed out also. The Uzumaki's got Menma and like carry him and all that with the Sun and Muna carrying uh, Naruto also. Sunla thought of just carrying Naruto on his back. And because he was like, you see now... Haruzen, you dare destroy my son's life with this pathetic village, but I will destroy it one day, but not now, since I don't know if my kids want to see this village alive or destroyed. And then Kazu was like, well, goodbye, and also... The Uzumaki does not want your damn alliance. We don't want your damn alliance anymore. Any village would do better. Probably I'll align myself with the uh, Sand Village. It's for them to decide to not align with yours. I hope this village would be destroyed when I get to see it in my lifetime period. And then they leave. Basically, Ambus and others could not really chase after them because the village was in shatter, destroyed. It was just in like shatters and destroyed because of the Naruto's attacks. And Haruzen was like, damn it, I fell. Minato, son, Minato. And I fell Kushina. And, um, Donzo, he was like, I see. So I see, so, huh, there it was from, but before I've been saying anything, both the Sundo and Mundo leader kind of came next to Donzo, and the Sundo used his sword to slash, basically, um, Donzo's head off, while the Mundo slashes his torso off, and then Horusha was like, no, and they both decide to leave. So, Donzo could not finish his last words and got sliced up like a fucking chicken. So, yeah. 
this is where I'm going to leave it off. This is a cliffhanger again. I know I keep doing cliffhangers. I just like I have to think of something else. But yeah. But before I do that. Naruto and Menma went back to the village of his, their grandfather. And so Naruto is actually the prince. Because he has the powers for the Sundamundo clan. And of course Menma is the prince for the Uzumakis. Since they don't actually know if he has the Uzumakis or the Sundamundo abilities. But Naruto does have the abilities. Of the Sun no Mundo and the Eclipse ability. <laughs> so they said that's a great descendants for that. So yeah. Until part four. Yep, this is the next uh, Eclipse hanger. Now, have a good day, have a good... No, wait. A potato day, potato nut, potato soup, potato, everything. Potato. Also, I did this way earlier than usual. Um, Right now, it's like five, I think so. And I did this pretty early. I really, I thought I always do things at like the night for no fucking reason. I have no clue. But yeah. So yeah, have a nice day and potato night. Potato and potato.